That's right. Back at it again, full custom hot dog here, and we're going to be doing another movie review. That's right, that's right. And today we're going to be talking about the 2021 Taiwanese horror flick, The Sadness. Written and directed by Canadian filmmaker Rob Jabba, someone who I'm not familiar with, but now they're on my radar. According to IMDb, they're a Canadian who did all of uh, all of their work in uh, Taiwan. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Kind of curious to know what his backstory is, if he was a traveler or a transplant, what happened. But this is a banger. He'd been doing animated films for a while. Now he did his first feature length, and it is... Surprise me. This was recommended by Huds, who you may have seen in the comments. Uh, absolute G. This one caught me off guard because I had heard a few things that it is brutal. There is uh, rape. Though the, the, the rape stuff normally would turn me off for a movie. I get a little squeamish. It's uncomfortable for me. But in this film, it, it's fine. The what ha So what this movie is about, there's a virus called the Alvin virus. There's some parallels here with Corona. The Alvin virus all these people had this Alvin virus and everyone's like, oh, it did nothing. Everything's cool, see? And the scientist is saying, no, 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 no. It's about what it's capable of doing. See, there's all these things in here and it can very easily mutate. It does mutate, which then causes people to just go nuts. Not only incredibly violent, but incredibly horny. So everyone's just trying to nut and kill and uh, it's pretty brutal. One of the things that came to my mind while uh, while watching this was the comic Crossed. I don't know if any of you have ever read it. Similar type of thing. I think there's a virus. I haven't read a ton of it. I just read a couple random issues. But these people have these cross marks of blood on their face and it causes them to go crazy, uh, become utterly degenerate and uh, extremely depraved. So just full of, again, disgusting murders and disgusting sexual crimes and this shares those parallels but given that this movie's done surprisingly well majority practical effects which is great for a lot of you guys out there who hate a lot of this cg nonsense too i do for the most part i, I primarily do when i notice it but here you get a lot of just crazy effects heads blowing up uh eyeballs getting jabbed And it's, it all looks very well. And it's strung together by a pretty good story. So besides this virus, a couple is split. A guy drops his uh, IRL waifu off at work or at the, the subway train. She's got to go to work. And then this virus hits on both of their sides. And now they're trying to meet up. And of course, this doesn't end uh, in the best way. I'm not going to do too many spoilers. But both stories are pretty great. You've got the husband or the, the boyfriend, Jim. And Jim's trying to make his way to the hospital where his, his wife or girlfriend is at. So he's traversing the landscape while dealing with a bunch of depraved degenerates. The people who are infected also work together, which is kind of cool. There's sort of a, a crazies vibe here as well, which I think you're just going to get anytime you get the whole plot of people, people going crazy. Poggers! On her end, though, she's on the subway and she's talking to the, or she's reading a book. She's on the subway and she's reading a book and this businessman's trying to holla, trying to spit some game, trying to talk to her, and she's not having it. She's reading her book. Leave her alone. And then across the, uh, across the subway, violent strikes. A man randomly stabs somebody. And that starts to grow as he's stabbing more people and people slowly become infected and the subway breaks out into utter chaos. But... That businessman becomes infected too. Now you can tell these people get infected. First you just see them kind of cry and then their eyes turn black and they're happy and smiling and laughing. It's very scary. This is a great setup. So she's running to the hospital and then evading people at the hospital while she's waiting for Jim. And uh, there's a there's a lot that goes down on both sides, and having having a plot that's more than just oh zombies are infected blah blah blah, but you have people that are consciously uh, being let loose and just going nuts allows them to get really creative with some scenes.
There's a gnarly scene that that, that really messed me up where Jim is uh, he comes across a, a basketball court and there's some youths beating just beating the shit out of a guy with bats and uh they, the one of them goes like, oh, I've got an idea. So they can't communicate and stuff like normal. Like I said, they can work in tandem and teams. And he's like, I got an idea. And he wraps some barbed wire around the basketball pole. And they pick the dude up and they just ram him into that thing. Balls first. And then uh, Jim comes in to, to try to save the guy. And, and that scene even has some pretty wild twists and turns that shook me up. So this is a, a solid film. Shutter exclusive, I believe. It's streaming on Shutter right now. A very solid recommend, even given the subject matter. If you're a little squeamish, they don't show anything too heavy on that front. Uh, but it's, it's in there. So if that's something you don't... Uh, if that's something you have an aversion to, you know, maybe close your eyes at that part. Put your put your hands over your peepers. But like I said, for the most part, it's uh, nothing too egregious, I don't think. Solid, solid recommend. A mixture of something like The Crazies and Crossed. Pretty, pretty wild ride all the way through. Will they do a sequel? Eh, I'd watch it. If you give me the same director, I want to know what this guy does next. He definitely got a lot of energy in this. Apparently, this film was funded with a mix of cryptocurrency and revenue from a producer's cam girl business. That's according to IMDb. There's a couple choice tidbits in there, but all of it shot in Taiwan. Pretty wild. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely surpassed my expectations. I feel like a lot of the Shutter originals or Shutter exclusives that I've seen have been just kind of lukewarm to me. This is probably the best I've seen yet. At least I think this and uh, terrified. I rewatched terrified recently. Also another good one. I'm never sure what the plot is in that one, though. I reviewed that one a while ago. It was something with the water, some in these interdimensional things. But this, I think, with with a much more simple premise, they, they just both have good scares. But I think this is the this is a better film. So definitely, if you've got Shutter, check out the sadness. There's no reason not to if you have it. That's why you're paying for the damn thing is to watch some great exclusive content like this. So. Huds, thank you for the recommend. Um, uh, I got a couple other things that I can't wait to take a look at next, but definitely, 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 check out the sadness. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I am your host, Full Custom Hot Dog, baby. And you can follow me on Twitter. It's full custom hot dog without the last O, because that's just too long for Twitter. So thank you all for watching. And until next time. If you like what you see, I love what I see. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you can watch whatever comes next. And if you like the music you hear, you can follow me on SoundCloud and Spotify. Check the description for links.